This woman can shuck an oyster with her eyes closed. Meet Chen Tongan. She's been in the oyster business for over 50 years. Chen is based in Lao Fao San, in northwest Hong Kong. Her and her family run Chen Chang Gay, one of Hong Kong's last oyster farms that still dries oysters the old school way. If you like oysters, this is probably the way you've often eaten them. Raw with some lemon juice. But how about trying some ho si, or dried oysters? People along China's southeastern coast love them. People would cook them with fa choy, or black hairy moss, to ring in the new year. That's because their names together in Cantonese, fa choy ho si, sounds like getting rich and good luck. Chan's family specializes in making golden dried oysters. These are even better than the usual oysters. They're bigger and brighter. Folks usually pan fry and dip them in sugar. What a ho si le? Yat 那个水为安啊,那个水,那个行业为安啊。那个水为安啊,那个水为安啊。那个水为安啊,那个水为安啊。那个水为安啊,那个水为安啊。那个水为安啊,那个水为安啊。那个水为安啊,那个水为安啊
，最差去到一女读大学都冇钱俾交学费，自己咪又去做做泥水咯，又去卖嘢咯，去卖荔枝咯，卖咸鱼咯，乜都做，勤力就得噶啦，我唔会偷又唔会整。我真係好中意落海，好中意流雨嗰啲海水啊，嗰、那個風氣啊。到而家話今年七十三歲，我都唔捨得放棄，一條腰痛咁咪唞一唞咯。你叫我長強放低一個豪嘢咧，我真係唔會放。Hi everyone, this is Cassie, the producer of this video. Um, compared to the regular dry oysters, the golden dry oysters are semi-dry, so they are not as slimy as the raw oysters are, but keep a tender texture. For me, it tastes really like celled scallops, and the sugar helps bring out the umami flavor and balance the fishy smell. That was really fun to me. Would you like to try it? And which way do you prefer to eat oysters? Please share with us in the comments below.